Campus 6 weather forecast. Hey there, good morning. So all of us are waking up to some cloudy skies and some cool temperatures out there. Very cool and dry temperatures out there. So it feels good when you're stepping out this morning. Not a hint of humidity at all in the atmosphere for now. Uh, more details on what we're expecting in just a couple days here. But right now, looking at our current conditions all across the coastal bend, it's feeling very comfortable out there. Right now in Corpus Christi, we're currently waking up to 64 degrees, 62 on over in Beeville, 68 in uh, Port A as well as uh, Rockport, 63 in Alice, and 66 degrees. The this morning for the folks waking up in Kingsville. So all in all, like I said, feeling very cool and comfortable out there. And in terms of our winds, we're calmed down quite a bit. Of course, at the end of the last week, we did see our winds being quite a bit gusty and breezy out there. So now they have calmed down quite a bit to seeing some areas clocking in wind coming from the northwest going around five to six miles per hour. But all in all, Still cool and nice conditions stepping outside this morning. In terms of our visibility, it's looking all great as well. So you don't have to be concerned about uh, any fog or anything obscuring your vision heading out to the roadways this morning either. And in terms of our feel like temperatures, they are matching either spot on or maybe just one degree off at the most in terms of our the difference from our feel like temperatures to our air temperatures. So that of course, explains the drier air that we're having in the atmosphere is helping us out in terms of keeping us pretty cool and keeping us having these pretty comfortable temperatures. So waking up for our feel like temperature here in Corpus Christi, we're also sitting at 64, matching with our air temperature this morning at 64 degrees in Robstown, Portland, as well as Alice. You guys are all doing the same there as well, currently matching your feel like temperatures there with your air temperature to 64 degrees. But uh, the drier air is going to come to end for a moment here. We're going to be expecting some deep tropical moisture from the Pacific coming into our area. And this is a result of some remnants of the outer bands of Tropical Storm Lydia that's going to be impacting uh, west central Mexico. And those outer bands, as it starts to flow through, that area is going to come to us here in south Texas in the coastal bend, which is going to give us plenty of moisture all across the area. And it's going to give us some pretty good rain chances ahead as well. So that rain chances will start to increase as we look ahead to tonight. Going into our evening hours, we could possibly see some isolated showers, maybe some heavy bits of rain as well, but it'll really kick in looking ahead to your Tuesday morning and Tuesday night, as well as parts of Wednesday as well. We'll start to see those showers really start to kick in, and we could see some uh, moderate as well, some heavy periods of rain as well. Uh, but it will start to taper off as we get into the latter days of this week. But looking ahead just for tomorrow, though, with those heavy uh, showers and uh, rainstorms we could be possibly seeing tomorrow, and even some thunderstorms as well. It makes sense with the uh, Weather Prediction Center now placing us under a slight risk for excessive rainfall ahead for tomorrow. So we're going to be expecting some beneficial rainfall looking ahead to your Tuesday as well as your Wednesday with those scattered showers coming through and our increase in our temperatures just a bit thanks to that humidity. But a cool down is just around the corner with that cold front that will start to push through, cooling us down just in time for the weekend.